What up, what up, Winbush here. And inside of Dim Earth, they actually just added this brand new feature that was requested by your boy that will allow you to bake out your normal maps and your gradient maps as textures for inside of Dim Earth if you want to use it in like Unreal Engine, World Creator, or any other applications outside of Cinema 4D. So to get started, we're going to walk through this step by step. So I'm going to come up here to Dim Earth. I'm going to come down here to Tools. Then I'm going to come over here to where it says Dim Earth Geocoder. So I'm going to turn this on and let's just do a generic location like the Grand Canyon. So now we have the Grand Canyon in here, right? Like, let me back out here a little bit. I can even make this a little bit larger just so we have a little bit more terrain. So let's say we like this gradation map, right? Like we want to use it for real building inside of like Unreal Engine 5. But before we weren't able to get this out because this is using the height data, right? Like this is just a gradient level that's going to be based off of the height of your terrain there. But now there's a way that we can actually bake this out. So with my demo selected, I'm going to select this right here. And then I'm going to come down here to where it says map loader. And then where it says layer, where we see Bing map, we're going to left click on this. And we have this new feature here called bake color normals. So if we left click on this, now we'll be able to bake out this gradient map and the normals as a texture. So we're going to turn on disclaimer here and down here where it says download texture layer. I'm just going to do level 12 because that's going to give us a lower count. If you want to do something a little bit higher resolution, you can bring it up to like 13 or 14, but 12 should be suffice for this example. So when you're happy with your tile count, we're just going to hit download texture layer. And it's going to play some dope music in the background. Shout out to Paul that developed this when I asked him about it. But I thought it was pretty funny that he added that elevator music in there. But let's let this roll out and we'll see what the results are after it's done. All right, so that took about 35 seconds. And if you notice over here, now we have a texture baked out for a texture that we just did. So let me come right here, left click on this, and I'm just going to double click on this material here drag this to the middle and now you can see that we have our texture right here so if i come over here and click on this folder inside of our windows explorer you can see now we have our texture map and we have a normal map so let me double click on the texture map here so we can see it a little bit larger but now we can bring this texture map over with our 3d model into like unreal engine or as in my case i like bring it into world creator just to kind of sculpt it out a little bit more and then i'll bring it into unreal engine but let me close this one out and now you can see we have our normal map here as well so big shout out to paul for adding this feature in there I I know you might be asking like what's the significance of having this feature i know for myself i work a lot in tv i build out 3d maps for a lot of tv shows and the big thing is you can't use google maps and you can't use bing map you can't use that satellite data because legally they're going to have to pay google or microsoft or whoever they're getting the map information from and they don't want to have those charges so if you have a generic texture in here just like this you can add that to your map and you can build on top of it inside of photoshop or do whatever else you need so big shout out to paul again for adding this feature it definitely helps me out a lot and if this does help you out make sure you leave me a comment down below and until next time stay fresh keep creating and i'll catch you in that next video i'll see you soon take care